Okay, where, where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? I'm excited. Season one of Modern Warfare 3 is here. Gotta go through these license agreements. Uh, update requires a start. Mother your data is corrupt or didn't download properly. You must reset your rank and unlock to continue. <laughs> Script bundle not defined. What is this? <laughs> meat 24-7, bro. I can't wait to hop on Call of Duty and just grind meat all day long. What did he say? <laughs> Yo, this skin goes hard. All right, what's up, guys? And welcome to Modern Warfare 3 Season 1. Brand new season. There is actually a lot of content to cover. Um, first things first, we got the weapons and they removed all my class setups. Oh my god, this is... Did I lose my camo? Okay, I still have Interstellar. Perfect. So season one is here. This is the battle pass. Kind of just wanted to quickly look over it. So the brand new weapons are the Ram 7, which is from Modern Warfare 2019. I actually really liked this weapon when it first came out. It was my go-to weapon to use in specifically Warzone solos. Got the XRK Stalker Sniper Rifle. Honestly, it kind of looks like the Locust in a way. Maybe I'm just blind i don't know i think this looks cool we also got this the storm mender what in the future is this oh it's a launcher i can't read at the top left okay uh, interesting the state-of-the-art weapon system fires a localized emp on a slight delay destroys tactical and lethal equipment and temporarily disables electronic devices they got the jack purifier oh yeah i forgot they actually added uh, a flamethrower into this so yeah this is an aftermarket part i don't know what weapons you can put on it but it's an under barrel flamethrower looking forward to messing around with that that's gonna be sick they also added a brand new vest called the assassin vest kills don't display skulls immune to uav and enemy radar effects including while stationary so this is basically just built-in ghost yeah i completely forgot they added the emp and they brought back the swarm from black ops 2 eight daily challenges to unlock i feel like this is definitely worth it so here's the brand new xrk stalker sniper rifle it looks super beefy super big let's uh base ads speed Kind of like just standard like every other sniper but i mean it feels really nice next up we have the storm render which is a launcher i don't even know if i can use this in it what is he doing what was that let's see if we can get a kill with this is that it like why am i sideways why when i ads is it sideways can you not get kills what is the point of this and here's the uh ram 7 doesn't look any different Feels the same, sounds the same. All or Nothing's back. I honestly don't think I've ever played All or Nothing. And then we also have Meet 24-7. I this is all I thought about for the last week is just hopping on Call of Duty to grind meat. Hey yo, what the f It's time to hop on some meat. Real quick, I want to say thank you for all the love and support on the Borealis video. The video's almost at like 15,000 likes, so odds are I'll probably end up going and unlocking Bioluminescent on the Mod Warfare 2 zombie weapons. Make that into a video, but yeah, I just appreciate all the love and the support on the channel. If you're brand new around here and you haven't subscribed yet, hi, my name is Dismo. I make Call of Duty videos. I hope you enjoy that. We got Hardpoint Meat. Why is that the first thing I spawn into? Wait, hold up. Guardian down. Never mind. He's dead. Bro. What the? Bro, this thing is ass. Sledgehammer just missed out on a huge opportunity. They could have made this weapon like weak and stuff. Having like a futuristic launcher looking weapon would have been so cool just to be able to kill people with. All right, got him. Got him. Oh my god! That was like a triple collat quad potential right there. <laughs> Dude, it's so slow. It's the only downside to this sniper is it feels good, it shoots very, very well, but it is just... <laughs> oh, I love that. What is my health doing? I want to have two bars. Oh, that's your tax sprint bar. That way you can know how much of your tax sprint you actually have left. That is such a small feature that I didn't know I needed until now. Outside of the map being ungodly sweaty, that's a given. I've said this on basically every update video. Update days are the sweatiest days. The map is actually pretty solid. The sniper is pretty solid. It's good. I haven't got a hit marker yet. No scope. That felt good. Sorry, Homelander. One. Oh my god! Oh, bro, what is that spawn? Oh, Carson, Carson, what are you doing? That was 
was only three kills, but that felt good. And I feel like I looked cool doing it. Let's go. Right, I'm gonna sit here in this corner. No one's gonna know. Hello there. He knew somehow. I'm stunned. I can't move. I'm dead. Oh, help, help. Oh my God, help, help, help me. God damn, I feel like I gotta take a shower after the sweat. I just, look at this guy, the ranked place get in front of me too. So first impressions of the storm render, like what, what is this? Make this be able to do damage. Even if it's like five damage, let me do damage with it. And yeah, the stalker is really, really cool. I like this. I also want to check out the brand new Grease map. And the only playlist that has like a small map pool where I'm guaranteed it is 12v12. Yo, this map is beautiful. I never played this map before. That's because it just came out. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a COD mobile map that looks similar to this. Maybe not like exact the same layout, but I know it's like Grease vibes. I know I'm a couple days late and like the entire world has basically seen this by now. But the GTA 6 trailer, bro, that has me so excited. Like I've never been like a super crazy GTA like fan. Not saying that I didn't like the game. I just didn't play them like that. I have maybe played two hours of GTA 5. I've never played the story. I've never done any of that. Never played any of the GTA online. But by not playing GTA 5, I feel like I've missed out on like a gaming phenomenon now that it's been over a decade and gta 6 is coming out i just can't wait to play it make videos on it yeah if you guys want to see some gta 6 videos let me know got him oh my you can just run across this i'm dead no after watching the GTA 6 trailer, the game just looks so beautiful, man. It's crazy to me, though, that GTA 5 is, like, still one of the most popular games, and it came out, like, when I was in middle school. I am 27. By the time that GTA 6 comes out, it's coming out in 2025. If it comes towards the later of the year, I will be 29, almost 30 years old by the time the new Grand Theft Auto comes out. I couldn't buy M-rated games when GTA 5 first came out. With GTA 6, I can go in there myself. Got one. Got two. Yo, I like the way that this map is playing right now. That's the game. Hey, what's up, guys? Shut the hell up. Your mic's on, bro. You turn it off. That's so awkward, isn't it, Big Spaghetti? I might regret saying this, but honestly, with season one so far of Modern Warfare 3, I actually like it. I'm impressed for once. Like, people seem to be enjoying the war zone. They've made some changes to that, making the cat AMR one shot to the head all the time, which is awesome. Bringing back sniping. Got one. Got him. Got him. Warzone seems to be doing good. I'm looking forward to hopping on that and making a video and playing some Warzone. And also, he just really tried to RPG me. Or no, that's grenade launcher. This guy's AFK. I'm just gonna knife him because I'm scared. If I shoot my bullets, then they're gonna see where I'm at. But if I go over here, get that kill. Pick up that kill. Get the reload. Let me run over here. Wait at the steps. Oh no, I'm out. I'm out. And don't get me started on the zombies content. We got a brand new act. So I'm looking forward to finishing act four. Haven't even finished act three yet. They added more wonder weapons, more schematics for things. They added an infinite ammo throwing knife that chains to multiple zombies and then boomerangs back to you. What the fuck? Right now, my main goal is to level up all the weapons, get them interstellar, and uh, yeah, just have everything done in the game. Go up here, go up here. Behind me. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Behind me. Your footsteps sound like a dinosaur running through the Amazon. That doesn't make any sense. The dinosaurs were not in the Amazon that we know of. Big Spaghetti left the game. I didn't kill him, but I'm glad he left the game. I'm glad he wasn't having a fun time. Dude, the no-scopes on this. One camo down, and I'm dead. What are you doing? You're so weird. Oh my god, that would have been <laughs> Oh, I love this sniper, man. So yeah, that is season one of Modern Warfare 3. I really like the grease map. It's been fun to play. I love grinding meat. I, I had to. It's just... <laughs> Probably just end up leveling all these weapons, getting them gilded, forged, priceless, which this has like no blue on it. It just looks purple. I like this. And then obviously interstellar, but what is that? Both these weapons will be easy. I actually didn't even look at what the launcher challenges were. Destroy 25 enemy equipment with the... Mm, that. 